Chapter 2 starts with you, a piece of Hashem on high. The second soul is what came when Hashem blew the life into Adam Arishon from inside his very essence, from the thoughts of Hashem. His greatest present is considering us as children, his firstborn child. His wisdom is something we could never dial, and even though there are infinite gradations of soul, Hatzad Behen, they have three parts and three roles, Nefesh, Ruach, and Neshama, and each soul is brought down from Hachma Ilya, like the fingernails of a baby derived from the brain of his father flowing through the Zera to build and maintain all the parts of the baby as it grows in the womb, differentiating but always relating back to the room in the mind of the father way up on high, filtering down through the world, Zatzilut is the right place to start, then Yitzira and Bria, Asiya, even Kulam, Bahachma, Sisa, even the souls of the most ignorant are attached to the sages who are giving them connection to the Most High through the words that you know, the ones explained by Chazal, Uladav, Gabo, and the rebellious ones feed, they'd feed from the back of the sages, holy souls, and the end of the chapter, the Tanya quotes a Zohar, who advises conduct during Tashmi Shemitah, no interruptions from foreign thoughts, but no matter that case, a holy soul can come down to an unholy place.